What's up, YouTube? This is Sean Gannon, future president of the United States of America. And I have a special video here for you. We have five ways that you can save money this Valentine's Day. And fun fact, today is Valentine's Day, the day I'm recording this. So let's dive into the five ways that you can save money this or next Valentine's Day. Number one for me, is cheaper gifts. Now, one thing everyone thinks that you need to do is spend a lot of money on gifts at Valentine's Day, and I'm telling you, you don't need to. There's songs that you can write if you're musically inclined, and if you're not, it's even more impressive that you're trying. Poems, they're really not that hard to write. Imitate good poems out there. Make it rhyme, okay? It's not too hard. Toss the your significant other's name in there, it works. Letters. People love good letters. You write a good letter to your significant other, really tell what, what they mean to you, and if it actually is meaningful, then it's a good one, okay? And lastly, just make something. Whether it's a chair, whether it's, I don't know, some craft, learn a skill, get at it, make something for your other person, and that is a great way to impress them, but also to save money. Because in reality, like, anyone can go buy something. What is that really doing for you? Well, you make something. That's impressive. And that means more. And anyone really who cares about just buying something expensive, superficial. Get them out. Number two. All right, number two here is dinner. Okay? Ways to save money is with dinner. And not what you think. You don't need to go out to dinner. Make food at home. Make the food at home. And it doesn't, it can be a fancy meal or it doesn't have to be a fancy meal, okay, depending on the person. But make it at home. And if you make it fancy, I guarantee that it will be cheaper to make at home than it is to go to a restaurant. You make a nice little fancy meal. You can connect with your other significant other, I guess, there. Okay, for me, it's my spouse. Uh, and to be honest, reservations are a pain in the neck online, right? You get that reservation and you're crowded in there. Oh, don't like that. Go out to restaurants. I really don't like it. You're, you know, especially on Valentine's Day. You're crowded. You're there. You're sitting next to somebody else. It's like they kind of shove you into a little corner. And if you maybe give the host a big tip, it might get you a nicer spot. And it really isn't a nicer spot, and you think it is because you gave them a nice little tip, you know, possible, you know, 20 their way or something to make yourself look big and fancy. But in reality, you're shoved in there with a whole bunch of people who probably don't really care about the significant other, but they want to show off. So, not really a big thing. Uh, big fan of that, to be honest. Um, but at home, make dinner. Toss some candles on that table. Dim the lights, and everything's going to be all right. Number three. Find dates that don't cost money, okay? There are plenty of date ideas out there that do not cost money. You got hikes. You can go to parks. You can do a picnic. Now, granted, it's February. It might be cold where you are, but you can figure something out, right? Uh, be creative. Make it a surprise. Most people like surprises, okay? And it's better to have that one-on-one -on -one time with the other person than it is to just go waste money on something superficial. Okay, half the things in my house I just end up throwing away, don't need. Okay, all right, so make it a little event out of it, but you don't need to spend money to do it. Be creative, take that brain power of yours and think of something that the other person would like, you can surprise them with, and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Gotta save that dough. Here, um, number four is a little kind of subcategory with it, but it's basically saying of finding different date ideas, okay? The standard one is just, you know, depending on how old you are, and as you progress through life, you know, going to a movie maybe isn't what you do. You go to a nice restaurant, you go to a fancy restaurant, you kind of like work your way up. But in reality, do different types of dates, okay? You don't need to go to just a restaurant. Oh my goodness, everyone. It's like a classic thing. It's so commercialized. You have to go to a restaurant. I'm telling you, don't. Fancy restaurant, restaurants are just packed. You don't want to be there. Pick an uncommon place, all right? Excuse me, change it up. No need to go to the same place that everyone else is going to be. All right, I'm tossing ideas out here. Well, you got to think of ideas that the other person would like or you both enjoy. But to be honest, bowling, 
I can't remember the last time I've been bowling. I love bowling. It's a lot of fun. All right, you have a great time, and that's really what it matters. Uh, axe throwing is a big thing now. I kind of like it. I tried it one time. It was a lot of fun. Doing something different, making a memory, that's what this day should be about, okay? Um, and to be honest, axe throwing, man, you can toss that on Instagram. It looks cool. Everyone else has a little, everyone does a little candlelight dinner. Toss axe throwing on Instagram. You'll get all those likes out there, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. And to be honest, likes don't really matter. It's about the other person here. And make that the focus. All right. Number five. The last one here is a little different. Pick a different day or time to go celebrate Valentine's Day. We all know tonight's going to be packed. Everyone goes February 14th, they go out to dinner. It's impossible to get a reservation at any restaurant you would want to go to. And it's just going to be crowded. And again, like I said, it's not going to be fun. You're going to sit there. Everyone's going to be packed in there. The waiters and waitresses, they're going to be super busy. And you're going to overpay on some bottle of wine. You don't need to, right? Uh, pick a different day. Say, hey, we're going to celebrate the day before. The, or better, the day after, all right? Or the next week. Who cares? Or just pick some other date. Don't make Valentine's Day really a big thing for you. Just pick a different day to celebrate your love for the other person, okay? Um, other nights can be just as special and happy for you, okay? Another one you can do is lunch. Don't do dinner, do lunch. Very few people go out for lunch for Valentine's Day. Go out for lunch. Especially if you're working, take off, you know, an extra hour at lunch. Take two hours with your significant other at lunchtime. Bam, no one's really doing that. And what a way to show that you care. You're taking time out of your busy day to spend with the other person. But you know me. I'm a big fan of just staying at home. Uh, well, you maybe don't know me. Whatever. Uh, but that food's cheaper at home. Drinks are cheaper at home. And I have way more fun hanging out at home. Right? I don't need to uh, go out. Plus, wearing sweatpants. So much more comfy at home. You're not going to go out to dinner wearing sweatpants. Okay? So, one thing you're probably asking yourself, I'll take a little sip here of beer, is what if my significant other doesn't go for this? This isn't for them. They won't like the ideas that I'm bringing to them, and they're upset with saving some money this Valentine's Day, but still have a fun, good Valentine's Day that, to be honest, in my opinion, is more meaningful. Well... I'm going to be honest, if you're watching this video and you're trying to save money this Valentine's Day, but you still want to care about the other person, I'm going to be honest, your significant other probably isn't the person for you. If they're that superficial person who just wants you to spend a whole bunch of dough on them and doesn't really, like, that's, that's what matters, leave them. Go find someone else who actually shares your same values, okay? Uh, might be harsh, but to be honest, that's what it is. This holiday's... Well, it's commercialized, and it basically pulls on the idea of that you need to spend more and more money to, um, I don't know, show your love for the other person. But most people I see out celebrating Valentine's Day and flashy stuff, I don't really think there's much love there, to be honest. But let's not judge them. Um, one thing to remember, though, a $1 save today invested is easily $10 in the future. Think about that before you start dropping lots of money this Valentine's Day. So, um, if I missed an idea for my five ways to save money, please let me know down in the comment section here. I'd like to hear from you and see what other ways that you have that you can save money this Valentine's Day or next Valentine's Day or, to be honest, any Valentine's Day. So, I'm going to sign off here, your future president, and uh, go spend Valentine's Day with Mrs. So, this is Sean Gannon here, signing off.